Hello everyone, Thranx is here, and welcome back to This War of Mine, Episode 9. So I'm starting the episode right here as soon as we walked in. We were told that we got raided. We were attacked at night. Someone tried to rob us. They were a tough and mean bunch, but we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed. None of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Ammunition we used up to chase them off. Three rounds. Three rounds. That's not bad, so we have seven remaining. Probably will need to start making our own ammunition at some point, but Katya had been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. We got ourselves another bandage back. Some, not many components, but some wood, and yeah. <clears throat> Various different items. Pavel, no longer sick and not tired. Bruno is hungry and tired. And today it is Bruno's turn to eat, but he is going to sleep first. Kachi is going to go up here and finish running this filter. It looks like, okay, so we got both of our heaters up. We'll need to upgrade them at some point. Actually, Kachi, before you do that, let's get the radio going. We'll get this classical music going as early as possible. Thanks to some humanitarian aid drops, coffee is once again available in Pokeran. It remains an expensive commodity, but its price is no longer border on extortion. Well, that's good. All right, what else do we have? Classical music. Weather's not changed. Oh, wait, wait, we did get a new one. Bands of looters are on the rampage, attacking homes every night. Extreme vigilance is advised. All right. Something we'll have to keep in mind. Pavel's still sad. Bruno's doing okay. And look, we got more more food. That's wonderful. As soon as Kachu puts in this filter, we'll rekey these traps. Put a little bit of meat in them. Hold on to our fertilizer for now. All right, go ahead and yep, rig this one up, and then go ahead and come down here and do the same thing down here. And then I think we'll look at. Um, hmm. How are we doing for smokes? Still got ten smokes, nine coffee. Still doing fairly well. Yep, not bad. Not bad. So we get these traps going. Pavel, you should be up. Katya should be sleeping. All right, Katya, go here and get get some rest. Pavel should be the one doing this stuff. He got to sleep last night, and he's over his cold. Yep, go ahead and set up that trap. And then let's look at upgrading these heaters. You're hungry. I know, but it's Bruno's turn to eat, not yours. So this would take most of our components... Let's go ahead and do it. Yep, we're going to do it. And I think the next thing that was suggested was a hatchet or an axe so that I could chop up furniture for firewood if needed. Afraid the bandits are just testing our defenses. Goodness me, I hope not. I hope that was the, the worst of it be completely honest. Excellent! So now that heater's up and running. We can go ahead and make the next... Uh, what is it called? Thermo regulator? Right? Yep, we can make the next thermo regulator, which I'm going to go ahead and do for our next heater. And it's going to take a lot of components. Enough sleeping. Good. You're going to go up here and cook yourself something to eat, Bruno. All in all, we're doing okay. I wish Katya and Pavel weren't so sad. Look at that. We have tons of wood. Let's go ahead and make four fuel. So we have the time. Katya and Pavel, they just they can't get over the stuff that's, that's happened. They're still sad. At least they're not depressed. 
All right, so now we've got a thermoregulator. Let's go ahead and check this heater. Let's see how far away we are. So it's just the components. So we'll emphasize components on our next trip. We'll go somewhere hopefully that has some materials, which I think will end up being someplace new. And then over here for the hatchet, we need more weapon parts. So we'll need weapon weapons and weapons and materials. To upgrade this is going to take whew, quite a bit. So to make a mixer, we're actually going to need four more electric parts and then four electric parts to upgrade this as well. Wow, that's going to be a little bit before we can do that. All right, Bruno, go ahead and cook yourself something to eat. You have earned it. And go ahead and snack on that. Pavel, maybe come over here and check this. We might be able to roll some more smokes for Bruno. Maybe. Or perhaps we'll just sit you over next to the chair. Bruno can roll his own smokes. Come on, Bruno. We'll let Katya sleep. This is also going to take a mixer to upgrade. Woof, we're not going to have parts for that anytime soon. Not a priority. All right, let's go ahead and we'll turn two herbs into homegrown tobacco and then we'll roll more smokes. That way Bruno's got something. Oh, he's got a new bio entry. I have a dearest friend who always worried a lot. One day she called me terrified, saying there was a riot outside. The secessionists were inciting the crowd to burn the town hall. I told her not to worry, and I was right. Nothing came of it this time. But even when the riots and fights became everyday news, I kept assuring her it would all blow over soon. Ew. Go ahead, Pavel. Sit down in the chair and read a book. Bruno, you're going to roll some of your own smokes. We'll make eight more. That way we have plenty of smokes. Hungry and sad. We'll let Katya and Pavel figure out what they want to do next. We've got the upgraded stove. Upgraded heater. Actually, Katya, why don't you come check this out? What is it? Oh, could have made one less smoke. We're pretty, we're doing pretty good on water, though. Yeah, I think we're all right. We'll just, I'll just sit you guys next to the chairs. And we'll see if you want to sit down and read a book. Ooh, careful. <laughs> Bruno can roll smokes. Traps are going. We got the water. I think we're doing well. I feel pretty good. We have more more ammunition. Yep, pistol, seven rounds, a knife, a helmet. Don't really have a lot to trade. We've got some herbal medication to trade. We have no regular me medication. Wait a second. Oh, okay. All right. Shovel and crowbar are gonna break soon. It's easier to fall ill when it's cold. Go ahead and smoke him if you got him, Bruno. He just rolled one. He's like, you know what? <laughs> I think I've earned a smoke. Wait, it's really chilly inside. What? Is it cold? 14C. It's not too bad. Let's go back and check the weather station again. I didn't think the weather station had said anything different, but perhaps it did. No, what's over here? Cool outside with clouds and possibly rainfall. Yeah. So I think they're worried about winter, but it's not here yet. I mean, plus 14C, it's not too bad. Yeah, I know the gangs are going to keep coming and testing our defenses. We'll handle it, though. We'll handle it. So we're going to put Bruno on guard again. And I think this time we'll let Katya stay home and sleep. And Pavel will go out tonight. 
73 percent 57 75 some materials lots of meds huge amounts of weapons huge amounts of lots of parts we're gonna have to go somewhere new we're gonna have to go somewhere new katya you sleep bruno you're on guard pavel where do we want to go group of armed men no Someone moved in there recently and spread the news that he was willing to barter. Maybe he has something useful to us. Lots of materials, huge amounts of weapons, lots of parts, possible trade, caution advised. On second thought, Pavel, you get some sleep. Katya's going to scavenge. We're going to go to the hotel. She's got the bargaining skills. There is a possible trade. Moved in there recently. I don't know what kind of tools we're going to need. Alright. That looks good to me. Oh, okay, what do we take to trade, if anything? Or do we try to find stuff there to trade? That's the question. How about... Let's bring a shovel and a crowbar. I'm sure it's very possible we'll run into rubble or locked stuff, and then... Someone willing to trade... Could bring a bandage. They might... Um... We could trade some coffee! Katya's like, not my coffee! I think we'll just go as is. We won't worry about trading just yet. This is just going to be a recon mission. Because if we're going to go to trade, I don't want to also bring tools. We need to bring back a lot of components and such. But then why would I bring Katya? Why wouldn't I bring Pavel? Yeah, on second thought, sorry to change it up on you guys. We're not going to trade this time. We're going to do a recon. Yep. That'll work. Alright, Pavel. Let's figure out what's going on here. Once noble and bright, now a shadow of its former self, like us. Components. This is good. Alright, let's go ahead and peer through the keyhole. Nothing. Alright, come on. Shut the door behind us. Hopefully we won't have to shovel anybody, Pavel. I know you I know you have it in you. I know you can do it if you need to. I just would like to hope it's not gonna come to that. More components! Wonderful. That's what we need. Let's see what we got here. Could do with some parts. Yes. Coffee and tobacco. Might as well take it all for now. We'll just check everything out. See if there's anything we need to use the crowbar on. This place is crawling with these disgusting creatures. I know, buddy. I know. Hey, stranger, want to trade? Go to the first floor. Maybe. Yeah, we're not going to take the toy. Not over more components. Or the tobacco leaves. Bruno's got smokes. So I can just trade some of the stuff I'm finding here. Everybody's pretty friendly, so I don't think I'm going to need to worry about that too much. What do we have in here? Weapon parts? Regular parts? Yeah, let's take the regular parts. And we need the weapon parts too, though. We're pretty good on wood for now. Let's, let's see if we can fill this in like this, yeah. And we might as well look for any rubble that we can shovel or also nope that's an exit okay so we'll look for any rubble that we can shuffle or shovel and any locked doors that we can pry open and if we can we'll take care of them now while we have the tools so that, that way when we come back we won't have to bring the tools with us a second time 
So if they know we're here and it's no big deal, let's be quick about it, Pop. Parts, weapon parts, electric parts. I like that. Very good. What do we got? Anything up here? Let's check out this pile. Oof. Stealing. More stealing. I'm not really looking to steal, guys. Not now. Nope. We're doing okay. We don't need to steal. Everybody is already mopey and sad. Pretty tall building. A lot of wood. So we can come back here for wood. That's good. Yeah, we don't want to... I don't want to cause any... Cause any issues. Okay, so we got bars. So we'll need a saw blade. Parts, weapon parts, electric parts. I love that. Where is... Look at all these components. Oh, this is a great place. Should have come here a while ago. Alright, Pavel, we're not getting through the bars, and that's fine. Let's check through this door. Can you get over here? No, you can't. Alright, maybe we can go that way. Let's go ahead and come over here. Try to get through this door. Board it up from the other side. Okay. And let's run back over here. Yep. Just busting through the doors. Nothing suspicious about that. I promise. I'm not going to cause any trouble. I'm just going through your door. I, I don't know. I'm, I don't even want to know what's in there. I'm not going to steal anything. Not at this time. Hey, I've got something you'll like. What do you got? Not bad. This is all stuff I found in your play. It's all stuff I found in your house. Okay, he doesn't have anything that great to trade. Bullets, canned food. Not interested. Now, I don't want any issues. I'm just going to unbarricade this door. I'm sure there's nothing suspicious about that. There, see? Look at that. No, I don't want to exchange. I'm sorry. And I'm not looking to steal anything either. Let's go ahead and... What? Empty room? So it looks like we didn't need the crowbar or the shovel. That'll be really good info for when we come back here. Alright, let's go ahead and go up here. Oh, there is a spot for a crowbar. Alright, let's do it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Nope, nope. Okay, go while you still can. Nope, okay, alright, alright. Then I'm going. Then I'm out of here. They did not like me prying that door open. No way, <laughs> no how. Okay, so lockpicks. So we want to know it's in that room. It's lockpicks. Woo! Day 16. I was going to say, I stopped. As soon as they said it was wrong, I stopped. Tonight we had a really good haul. Look what we got. We've been raided again. The attackers were very aggressive. We managed to fend them off. We were all armed. None of us was wounded, and they didn't steal anything. Used up two more bullets. Got a ton of components and parts, though. Wonderful. Pavel, you sleep. Katya... You're going to come down here and upgrade this heater. Bruno, you are going to... The traps are not ready yet, but that's okay. You're going to cook. You're going to cook for Katja and Pavel. It is their turn to eat tonight. Pavel's no longer sad. Katja's sad, but Pavel is not. Wonderful news. Really wonderful. Yep, this will work. Make two meals, one for each of them. And you are going to, yep, use up the bulk of this, improving this heater. So now we have two improved heaters. So we're we're ready for winter, which is really great. 
And Bruno, let's see, you're tired. Kachi is not. Why don't you go ahead and get some sleep, Bruno? Pavel can eat when he wakes up. Oh, we don't need food. Bruno made you something nice up here. Look at that. Improved stove. All right, come up here and get... No, no, don't eat it twice. Just come up here and get some food. And then we'll turn on the radio. Put on the classical music. There you go. That'll do for now. So now Katya is just sad. So we'll let her get a full night's sleep. Because this the weather's not really changing. Humanitarian drops, bands of looters. All right. Nothing new on the radio. Open up. Oh, we're v Viceni Militia? Um. Um. What's going on? You better open the door. It'll just take a minute. What do we got? Citizens, several days ago... Citizens, several days ago, someone from this neighborhood stole supplies from a humanitarian aid container. Those supplies are vital to us. There's a reward for help in seizing the culprit. One of your neighbors was reportedly sniffing around the container, and we have reasons to believe he took those supplies. Can you confirm our suspicions? Now, oh, now we don't need, we don't need what he's offering, but if I don't rat him out, will he rat us out? Uh, I'm going to say no. We don't need that stuff. No, I'm sorry. Are you sure it wasn't him? We can refresh your memory. Um... No. Have it your way. Goodbye. Oh, buddy. I sure hope that does not come back to get me. Because if he, if he, oh, if he rolls over on us, nope, bait's still there. If he, if he doesn't have the integrity to do what we just did, because we were involved, and he turns on us, oh man, oh man. Ah. It'll be tough. Katya, content. Oh! There's no way we're going to snitch to those soldiers. Solidarity between neighbors is important. Yeah! We'd never betray our neighbor's trust. We're in this hell together. We have to help each other. Yeah! Nobody's sad anymore! Katya's content, even! It's rather chilly inside. We should think about heating. It's... It's okay. It's not that bad. Oh, man. This is great. Pavel's hungry. Go ahead and get you some food. Sadness is a thing of the past. I love it. Alright, let's look at our supplies and see what we can make. Mm. Where are we at with water? We've got 14. I guess we should go ahead and make another filter. We can get more components from that location pretty easily. Yep, let's go ahead and um, we'll make ourselves a filter. Why not? Pavel's feeling good. Bruno's a little hungry. Koch is downright content. She is very satisfied that we did not snitch on our neighbors. I love it. I love it so much. Bruno's going to have himself a smoke. Feeling real good. Yeah, go ahead and filter some water. 
Wow. Okay, so we got our heaters. Got our stove upgraded. I guess, Pavel, you can go ahead and make some... Make some more fuel with the wood we have. Might as well be productive. We're going to need fuel. So we can start stockpiling it up. Everybody's doing all right. Yeah, I didn't want the, I mean, what, coffee, cigarettes, and some canned food. Okay, the canned food would have been nice, but we've got traps. We'll be okay. But coffee and smokes? We've got coffee and smokes. We're set for a while on coffee and smokes. And we can roll a few, we can roll like eight more cigarettes if we need to. Bruno doesn't mind smoking these bitter things. They don't taste like betrayal, that's for sure. They might taste bad, but they don't taste like betrayal. What do we have? Let's see what it takes to upgrade this. I would like to start making some ammunition soon. Ugh, so much! It takes so much! I wonder if we'd be better off making a moonshine still. Let's see what that's going to cost us. No, not the alcohol distiller. Oh! Oh, we could start making moonshine. Yeah, we'll just get some components. We used a lot of our components upgrading the second heater, but that's fine. That needed to be done. I think we're just going to end the day, really. There's no reason to drag this day out anymore. The night. Oh, we got new places. Okay. Bruno has been on guard duty constantly. You're going to sleep. Pavel is going to be on guard. Katya is going to scavenge. What do we got? Semi-detached house. Half of it is a ruin, but there are people living in the other half. Apparently, they aren't hostile and have a lot of stuff to barter, even food and meds. Let's remember to take something to trade if we're going to pay them a visit. Danger, though. Hmm. Warehouse. This used to be a warehouse of a big store. Currently, it's used as a hideout by a group of armed thugs. We might find useful things there if we can sneak in, but it is very dangerous. Err. Brothel. If you want to get laid for a can of meat... Oh, good night. This is the place. Mothers will do some really kinky stuff to get food for their children. Oh, good God. It's a big building, well guarded by local thugs. They have plenty of goods and are eager to trade. Ugh. I don't know about all that. Construction site. It was supposed to be a luxurious residential area, and there was a great hype on apartments there, but the developers fled abroad when the war started recently. The military wrested control over this area from the rebels. We could scavenge whatever the rebels left behind, but there is a risk of encountering military patrols. Honestly, I think we're going to go back to the hotel. We're just not going to bring Pavel because they... <laughs> They know his face. They're they're going to be looking for him. So there was a lot of good stuff at the at the hotel that we passed up, though. A lot of components and lots of parts. Possible trade. We'll bring Katya. So if we need to trade, we can. Sleep guard. That looks good. What to trade? Well, they didn't really have a whole lot that I wanted to trade for, though, to be totally honest. I don't think we're going to bring anything to trade. Let's just go scavenge. All right. So, we're, I'm not Pavel. I'm somebody different. And I feel good about myself. I'm very content. There is no reason to start a fight. I'm not even going to bring the lockpick. Uh, or, or rather, I decided not to even bring the lockpick because I realized if they were that protective of that barred door, chances are it's because something that is not able to be looted is in there. Especially if this guy, look, this guy's... This guy's hanging out, reading a book, watching the door. Oops, okay, okay, all right, all right. Nope, nope, nope. 
No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay. So they don't want anybody upstairs. Okay, okay, I'm not trying to be a thief. I'm out of here. Darn it, come on. Really? Really? Alright, fine. Dang it! Didn't get anything. Oh, so they don't even want you up on that floor. Oh, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. And we got raided again. Used up two more ammunition. Kachi didn't get anything. Nobody was wounded and they didn't steal anything. Uh, well, that's where we're going to wrap things up. This has been This War of Mine, Episode 9. Lesson learned. That whole top floor is off limits. I should have known the guy was standing out there with a gun. He didn't care. He didn't care if I was going to try to pry open the door or not. So... Uh, come back next time as we go ahead and um, continue on with day 17. We'll just press on. We had a bad night. No worries. But until next time, take care.